OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Welcome to Grossmont Adult School's Uber Ride, a whirlwind tour of our tech integration plan starring Barbara, the tech savvy adventurer. Uh, Nikki, the objective obsessed dynamo. <laughs> and Jen, the recruitment wizard. <laughs> okay, so three people are squeezed into an Uber car at the Sacramento airport. Hello, ladies. What brings you to Sacramento? <laughs> We're, We're going, going to the <laughs> So, you know, um, I feel like our tech integration plan is pretty impressive. I mean, at least first, I think what, what's really important and what we're working on is that we're able to identify our learners' prior knowledge and skills. And I think the way that we're doing this best is by modifying orientation and making sure that our transition specialists are part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds impressive. You guys like that part? Yeah, it sounds we really do. good. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, you know, as far as integrating language and digital literacy, I mean, bridging our ESL and CT courses is becoming a big part of what we're doing as well. Yes, yeah. for sure. And that's very exciting to be able to do that. And so we're not just teaching ESL, but we're combining it with another uh, skill that they yeah. learn. Yeah. And, and we also want to foster that uh, learning environment where we include students and teachers in their progress. Yeah. And I mean, technology, I mean, Barbara, you're kind of leading the way as far as all of those pieces go. Yeah, charge. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, I mean, as we've got Canvas, and Barbara will talk a little bit about that um, in orientation, and, yeah. and then our open labs, and then where we're going as far as HyFlex. I mean, I'm really excited about that. That's going to make a big difference as far as uh, students being able to show up when they're able and still show up when they can't get there. Right, and Barbara's like our leading teacher to do anything like that, right? Yeah, I mean. yeah. I, you know, we get them into that computer lab and we teach them how to go into Canvas and and then the ones that know absolutely nothing about computers, they're getting a very good education. Yeah, and that's and, a large part due to you. Yeah, know, they're, they're sure. uh, getting a really good, um, you know, indoctrination into you know the uh, uh, the world of technology. Technology. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, just as far as I mean, WASP really kind of demanded that we increase our community um, for both teachers and students. So I know that's going to make it possible. Uh, the Canvas piece, and then just kind of following them throughout. Yeah. Yeah. I I really like that part where you know we. Um, we have an orientation for our students that it's a two-week orientation to figure out, you know, what levels they are. And then they're using the uh, website to access resources, and they're introduced to that in the, um, in the orientation so that when they wind up in the computer lab, it's a familiar, because they're using that same website to access the resource. So it's very uh, familiar to them. And that was great, great planning on your part, too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I was thinking if I knew you'd like it. Yeah, I yeah. do. I do a lot. Thanks. Right. <laughs> so, you know, absolutely. We're going to dive into this plan head first. Um, and, you know, I'm so happy that we did DLAC. Oh, yeah. For I sure. think if we did not do this, oh. I don't think we'd be where we are no, today in terms of identifying, you know, and making a plan. Yeah. For sure. So I just, you know, God, if I, I could give uh, Netta and Dr. Porter and their their whole staff a big hug, I would. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, we're gonna be there soon. As okay. As we get out of yeah. the Uber, yeah. we're gonna okay. be there, so you can do yeah, that. I'll then. hug them all at once. <laughs> yeah. So that's just a way of saying thank you from the bottom of our oh, hearts. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Well, and you know, our our backgrounds are all different, and I feel like we all have pretty different personalities. So as far as learning about our strengths and where those came in has done a lot for us just as far as trusting each other, building our team, and then also um, kind of being more sensitive to what kind of support our teachers need as we go through these changes. Yeah, absolutely. Right, because I never knew you two were woos. Yeah, oh, we're wooing all over the yeah, place. Yeah, I see that yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think that helps us strengthen our teachers too when we start to learn to identify the strengths that they have as well, right? Yeah. It certainly helps with the buy-in. Yeah, you know, for sure. So, because you know, many teachers are afraid to say that they are, you know, they have digital illiteracy. <laughs> Well, they're afraid. They, yeah, they're afraid. They yeah. don't want anybody to know that they don't know what, you they know, don't know, they don't know as much as they think they know. Right. And so, uh, so it really helps to have the lab where the teacher can bring their students and, and also, you know, learn alongside with them mm -hmm. how to use it. Yeah. yeah, it's been beneficial. Yeah. So as far as our site plan, I mean, I know all of us have an ESL background, including Jenna. So that's really our focus, and I think that's kind of exciting because that's where our need is greatest right now. Right, and it's a good place to start for sure. And it also is enabling us to bridge from ESL into academic and our CTE pathways too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that that's a big component of our site plan. Yeah. 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 I, I, I like it that we're giving the students uh, from even our pre-lit students who come into the, the lab they're getting a great orientation into, you know, computers. Many of them have, you know, have lived in the hills of Afghanistan, right. and they were, were barely literate in their own languages. So now they have this opportunity to use the computer in a real situation mm -hmm. and to learn, you know, how it works and, you know, this world that they're stepping into in the U.S. So. And you were great about instrumenting that and helping them get logged on and. You and a few other teachers have been yeah. really great about that. Yeah, yeah, we work together. It's a, a great, great, uh, uh, it, I've looked at it like an experiment, mm -hmm. and it's been a wonderful experiment, you know, working and collaborating with the teachers and their students. Well, and it's going to help us, too, on the data side, as far as being able to kind of dispel those myths about what students can't do. Um, and I think that will ultimately spur our teachers on because, students will be more ready than they believe they are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Can I move this toolbar? Yeah, what was it? Something eight? Okay. There we go. Um, so, uh, you know, IET is uh, kind of what I'm most focused on, and I won't say kind of. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's very important to be very to, to be focused on it, not kind of. I'm you know, actually yeah. very focused okay. on IET. And, um, you know, we have our in-class time. I mean, that was really our first model. Um, but we realized that that really wasn't enough, especially in these early days where uh, teachers are kind of still in the push and pull of figuring out how they can peel back their curriculum and make space for somebody else. So um, we're implementing technology in three different ways with IET. Um, so first, uh, we'll have sessions before and after class for students. Um, it can be at their school site. It can also be in their community. And um, we're looking to make this high flex for the fall. Because if we, say, have a phlebotomy class that's Tuesday, Thursday, and students have organized child care for Tuesday, Thursday, but Wednesday at 10 is when students can make it for a, a session where they can, can look at contextualized material for both literacy and their program. Um, we want other students to be able to join in, no matter where they're at or what their need is. Um, we'll complement these sessions with Canvas modules tailored for um, about eight to start medical courses. And um, what that means is we'll have, our promise is at least 10 activities, uh, literacy-based activities that will take material from the syllabus and ask for uh, listening, writing, and speaking activities um, for every student so that um, our EL learners are, are um, having their needs met, but also our students who haven't written in a while who are going to be caught off guard by that 250 word uh, triage essay and those kind of things uh, can really utilize both sessions and Canvas modules. And then we'll have Burlington English as supplemental for students that are interested. Any IET student can access it. 
I wish Jenna was here, though, to talk oh. about what we're doing with oh, Distance Learning. Oh, I know. We miss her being with us. she vacationing in the she's Bahamas? Va I mean, she's at her daughter's graduation. graduation or, oh, yeah, oh, something oh, like that. wait a minute. Look. She's calling. She's calling right now. How lucky for us that she's calling while we're in the car. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Jenna Hansen, and I am part of this amazing team from Grossmont Adult Education. I am sad that I can't be there today with you all, but I know that Nikki, Jennifer, and Barbara will do an incredible job on our presentation. I have a joke for you all. Why is the math book so unhappy? Why, Jenna? Tell us. Because it is full of problems. <laughs> <laughs> Our team has come so far in how we think and work together. Dr. Porter has taught us to focus on each other's strengths and how we can use those strengths to work together successfully as a team by remembering that failure and success are not opposites and that strengths are not about what you do. They are about how you do it. It is obvious that focusing on our strengths and not our weaknesses makes us happier and more productive people. One more joke. Why did the teacher wear sunglasses to school? Why, Jenna? Tell us. Because her students were so bright. <laughs> it looks oh. like Jenna had a facelift. <laughs> she, she looks super relaxed on vacation. I mean, at her daughter's graduation. Yes. <laughs> And I think she sent us like one more video from her student, right? For um, yeah, yeah, she did. And and I mean, I think it's going to be really important to be able to see uh, what her student has to say because um, you know she's making some important updates to the program. Uh, she uses Ellie, but really wants that to be part of students working in Canvas as well. And um, and just working on aligning it with our in-person classes will be really important so students are prepared either way. Yeah. Let's see what her student has to say. Hi, my name is Estefan Zavini. I'm from the United States. This box helps me a lot because I can practice my uh, lessons every day. Mm -hmm. I request to my teacher to send me a lesson that I want and make my own study schedule. And I can do it from home. Uh, uh, I like distance learning course because I have chosen a very busy life based on my uh, normal schedule. I can make my own uh, schedule to do my own work. Thank you very much, my teacher. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> she has the best students. She, she really does. does. She really does. I thought mine were the best. Oh, yours are the best yeah. too. They're all the best. Hello. There's Jenna's back. <laughs> and, and I mean, we know that all of this is kind of hinging on what we can do with recruitment. Yeah, and so um, I don't know if you guys know this, but all of the managers, um, we hired a uh, outside marketing agency to do an assessment of our website how we look um, you know, to the outside world. And we've taken all of their feedback and are implementing it. And we're highlighting to recruit uh, mostly for the medical classes and just to get the word out that there's English support in those medical classes so students feel like they can participate. That's great, that's great. And I mean, I, again, being able to bring in student services so that we can understand our community is, is really key. Not everybody works one on one with everybody, and certainly our staff that we're counting on at the front desk uh, really needs to feel like they're part of it. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, recruitment intake uh, are key, <coughs> and we'll, we're we're working on automating our registration, uh, creating a more student centered process, and understanding our students' skills. And the goals with the guided placement, our diverse community deserves support and access in all that we do. I don't know, we were just looking at data at our annual data meeting, just looking at our student demographics and just reevaluating where we're at and the students that we serve. And, you know, still mostly the predominant are Arabic speakers, followed not pretty closely by Spanish speakers, Farsi speakers, Pashto speakers, and then. It's, a, it's a rich Creole. diversity. Yeah, of, it's getting uh, and it's getting more and more learners. mixed. Yeah. yeah, which is exciting. I'd like to see that in a table. Yeah, well, I just happen to have one right here for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Yeah, right? there they are. Look at that. And w another important component that we were talking about is really in the student tech survey, what are students really telling us about their access to technology? And these are some of the key things that we have to keep in mind as we're planning, right? We need to recognize that 20% of the students said they don't have a quiet place to study. And we have student yeah, centers on okay. um, two of our campuses, but we don't have one at ESL. So that's really something right. I hope we can work on. Yeah. Just um, magically make more buildings. And then yeah. as far as having a device, I mean, we talked about it yesterday. Uh, you know, students are working on cell phones. You always mention that, Barbara. Yeah, oh, that's their primary uh, point of access mm -hmm. with the, the hybrid class. And we're going to uh, revive past projects like student councils and build strong community. Uh, we're going to have Canvas forums and in-person events to connect with, with our, our students and reconnect students and teachers and embracing technology for collaboration and support. Yeah, and I think that's, that's really great because all of that, especially if we lead in with the orientation, with the solid onboarding, that's going to make a big difference for our students, I think, holistically. Because last year, in July, we started that two-week orientation class. Barbara, you taught yeah, it I in the evening. It. Yeah. And uh, it's just been progressing and developing. And, and in my vision, we have teachers rotating through to just make it richer and enhance it as uh, every yeah. semester. It's a great way to build community, you know, especially rotating the teachers in. And everybody gets an idea of what that that orientation is and how to make know. it better yeah. each time. Yeah, and we kind of, and we mentioned in our objectives that we're really working to you know bridge our higher level students into other programs. What did you do at orientation when you encountered students that were either too advanced for the classes that we offer? Well, I would hook them up with their transition services right away so that they could have a discussion with them and make a plan for uh, college or uh, career um, uh, training. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. very good planning. And I, I mean, you know, um, I also believe that what we've been doing at DLAC with um, Ideal 2, we're able to, with a, with a balanced mind and all the team members we've met at DLAC who are going through the same things, right. uh, take a look at our challenges. I mean, as far as uh, some of what WAST has asked us to do, aligning levels, aligning assessments in ESL, I know we've tried to uh, launch that through PLC, so teachers really feel like they're driving that process. Um, and so that hopefully will cultivate the community WAST asked for with our teachers, but also that teachers in that process will say, Hey, technology is actually going to help us right. do all of this. Yeah. So. That's what we hope. Yeah. And we always need more teachers. So, I mean, if there's anybody that can hear me that was interested in working for Grossmont, we're always looking I'll to hire I'll get the word out. I'll, I'll get the word out for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, right. I mean, we've done a, a lot of good stuff, too, in this last year. A lot has so. worked well. Yeah. I mean, especially starting with the digital literacy lab that's oh yeah too. that 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 computer lab uh it has been just wonderful and i'd like to see it grow and i would like to see us get even better equipment in there we're working on it yeah i hope that you know next month really that we'll have new computers and, we're working on it know, we're working yeah. on it and we've, we've got the ram <laughs> We've had other successes too, like your hybrid beginning low high class. That yeah, was oh, yeah. two days on Zoom, two days oh, in person. Yeah. That's been a great they, option. Students love that, yeah. that, being able to come in and, and play games in the classroom. Yeah. You know? yeah, and then restructuring our ESL classes, I'm super excited. Yeah. yeah. I mean, That's I've waited a step. long time for this, and it's going to be many of those students that are really demanding these new high flex and distance learning options. Yes. Yeah, so okay. um, despite our challenges, we've made progress. Yeah, yeah. it looks sure. like we're pulling up to DLAC now. Yeah, what? I see the building now. Yeah. It looks vaguely familiar. Yes. You have arrived. <laughs> Good luck with your tech revolution. I want to go to your school. <laughs> Thanks, Nelson. Thanks, Thanks Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Q&A.